tonight in our Eye on the Environment report, torrential rain and an economy where people are in need of work. It sounds like a combination for a really bad summer for folks in our region, but it's actually the perfect storm for folks in Hamilton, New Jersey, where blueberries are a booming business. Hamilton lives for blueberries. That's, we eat, sleep, and do everything with blueberries. Welcome to the blueberry capital of the world, a population 13,000, which is largely responsible for New Jersey's $80 million blueberry industry, one economy that is looking up. This crop here is a uh, very good crop this year. The fruit is very large because of the weather conditions that we had. Uh, we had a lot of rain and a lot of cloudy weather. That's right rain. Those storms all month mean larger, plumper blueberries, many twice the size as last year's crop. But there's a catch. Yeah, we're, we're in the panic mood right now. We, we've gotten a lot of rain. Right now we want to harvest as quickly as we can. Not only does the season last just six short weeks, the fruit will begin to swell and burst if exposed to more rain. Bill Mortelite at Blueberry Bill Farms has 150 berry pickers to harvest 125 acres. He says that's up from last year and many more people want to work. There's not only work in the fields. Mortelite decided it was more environmentally friendly to return his high-tech machinery. He's gone back to basics. Now his blueberries are not only local, they're packed by about 40 local kids. 15-year-old Keith Salmon and his friends will package 60,000 pints a day in what they say is kind of like summer camp. I do everything. I, I've dumped the blueberries in, I've picked greens out, I've from the pints and I've put the pints in the box. The entire town is benefiting. Paul Conlow has hired 25 extra workers to tackle the extra orders. He supplies Blueberry Bill Farms with packaging. If they have a decent big crop, uh, plenty of boxes coming out of this place, a lot of labeled clamshells, so uh, it actually is very good for everybody. Paul also told me he'll need more trucks to deliver the blueberry packaging and make many more trips, meaning all because of a pint of blueberries, there'll be more work for drivers and the auto rental company. That's it for us. We'll have a great day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.